Now, I'm a big horror fan, but I have never came out of a horror film and felt so nauseous. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Terrifier 2, a film that I had zero anticipation up until I saw the first one. I have a review of that first one on the channel, so I'm going to link it down in the description below. But I was really surprised at how bloody and how shockingly fun that was. I loved it to a 10th degree. I absolutely adored it. As somebody that is afraid of clowns, I didn't know how that film was going to turn out and when I saw that the front time for this film was going to be 2 hours and 18 minutes, I thought how are they going to be able to stretch this out for another hour. So going into this film I was really excited because the word from Fantastic Fest has been positive, it has been strong and boy oh boy is this not only bigger and better but it's bloodier and more disturbing than the first one. The film tells the story of Art the Clown who returns to terrorize the town of Miles County where he then targets a teenage girl and her little brother. Now I was really blown away by this film because not only is this movie really disturbing and very graphic but it was a bloody good time and I absolutely adored it. Not only was I surprised and shocked at how bloody and gory this film is but I was actually pleasantly surprised by the fact that this film actually managed to be fun and keep the same tone that we had with the first film because this is a sadistic clown that just loves killing for fun he doesn't give a fuck who is in his way he just goes out and terrorizes whoever he sees not only do they make this film very creative and a lot of fun there are a lot of moments in this film where i actually had to turn away and it's very hard for a horror film to do that because sometimes it's not really all that gory it's not all that bloody it's not really all that traumatizing but then sometimes there are moments here and there where you have a horror film where it is actually really bloody and really gory that is really hard for you to look at what's actually happening on screen and that happens multiple times in this film. The way that they use the practical effects in this film actually work to a degree. There are moments in this film where you do feel like you are seeing a puppet getting killed on screen and sometimes the effects don't work but when they do they are very effective they are hard to look at there were a lot of things in this film that were really fun to see and even though this film does stretch it out for a little bit longer than it should have I think they were able to induce a little bit more fun especially with Art the Clown. His facial expression is a little bit better in this film and you do get a sense that he is just there to be fun. Even though he is a sadistic killing clown, you can tell that he is having a lot of fun mostly by the way that he uses his facial expressions. They introduce a little demon girl in this film that kind of made me ask more questions than it answered. There are moments where she pops up and she's playing around with art or she's traumatizing one of the kids and there are moments where some people are able to see her but other people aren't so they really don't make it clear as to what her ability is in this film but whenever they used her they used her to a great effect i thought the makeup effect was actually fantastic and it was a killer good time lauren lavera and elliot fullman are the ones that we're basically following throughout the entire film this is the target that art decides to haunt and terrorize as they move forward throughout the film and this was the first time that I've actually seen both of them and to a degree they actually work as siblings and I thought Lauren Lavero was actually fantastic in this film. I've never seen her anywhere and, and I've never seen Elliot in anything at all but those two were the standout in this film mostly because you are following them throughout the entire thing. There are things happening to them. Lauren is having dreams about Art the Clown and even though she is a heavy sleeper and even though she, her nightmares of Art the Clown are happening and for some strange reason she is not able to wake up because when I have a nightmare I instantly wake up and I don't fall back asleep. For about two or three hours and then i'm late for work the mom in this film however there is not a lot of command that comes out of her there are moments where she is trying her hardest to be a great mom and trying to be a hard mom on them kids but there are times where it just felt a little forced and it didn't feel naturally it felt like she was plucked from a film back in the 90s and it just did not work and even though this film has about 50 different endings there are some twists and turns here and there there are some effective jump scares 
but I think Damian Leone did a really good job of not only amping up the violence and the carnage in this film, but also adding a little bit more fun because this is a bloody good time. The runtime does get a little bit extensive. I think you could have shoved out about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes out of this film. The ending of this film kind of does say disservice to what happens in the entire film because there are things that happen towards the end that I wasn't a big fan of. There are choices that happen and I it kind of took away from what's actually happening because this is grounded in reality. You feel it when it's happening. You feel the kills. Everything about this film is bloody and, and hyped to a certain degree. But there are moments in this film that had creative choices that I was not a fan of. There are things that you could have plucked in and out of this film. But I think this is a bloody good time. I've never come out of a film nauseous, but this film definitely made me feel extremely nauseous. And now I'm going to jump into bed and have nightmares of Art the Clown. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and recommend Terrifier 2. This was a bloody good time. As somebody that watched the first one and had a lot of fun, I didn't know what this film was going to entail. The runtime did worry me a little bit and to a degree, it still worries me. But up until we get to that ending of the film, I think everything is a lot of fun. The kills are great, the carnage, the gore, the blood, the practical effects, the jump scares when you need them, we're all there and I think this is a fun horror film for the Halloween season. Those are my thoughts on Terrifier 2. Have you guys checked it out? Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments below. While you're here, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos. Click that bell notification so you get notified every single time that a video pops up and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.